and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your hosts, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. It is a Thursday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. And you know what that means? That means tomorrow is Friday. You did. We didn't even rehearse that. I'm so. I know it. I'm ready I for it. I love it. That's right. We've got a great show lined up for you for today. Another gorgeous day outside. We're going to find out all about that and your weekend weather. Zach. Yesterday, a gorgeous day along portions of the Grand Strand and the PD. We had high temperatures up to 89 degrees in Florence and Darlington, a degree there from that 90 mark. 88 in Shira, 88 in Hartsville, and even 88 out in Laurenburg, a little closer to the coast, the mid 80s. Why does that matter? Well, you take a look at our current temperatures. We're already up into the 80s, and so we too are going to see very similar temperatures from yesterday essentially a carbon copy of yesterday once again today, but big changes on the way as we roll into our Friday live look out in the marsh walk. Plenty of people getting the right idea heading on out out ahead of our next storm system. Right now the ridge of high pressure right off the space coast of Florida. See that rotation uh, counter clock or excuse me clockwise rotation allowing for that west to southwest wind across our area. There's our storm system. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings through Louisiana and Mississippi. While severe weather is firing up today across that area, it's still unlikely, not a 0% chance tomorrow, but unlikely that we'll, we will see uh, severe weather. Here's what's going on. That high leaving the coastline, notice around 9 o'clock, the clouds starting to enter the far western portions of our viewing area, becoming more prominent after midnight. Tomorrow morning, 5, 6, 7 a.m., that drive into work. PD and border belt locations looking dry. Southwest wind keeps you dry, but a due south wind at the Grand Strand beaches may allow for an isolated shower along coastal portions of Ori or Georgetown County. Could even see a little bit of sunlight by mid to late morning. That would help some instability as that front comes through right around the noontime hour, continues through the 3 to 5 o'clock hour. Thunderstorms possible to develop between the hours of 5 and 6, and then the rain tapering off by the 8 o'clock hour. We'll have to watch, see if some of those thunderstorms could become strong. The main threats would be strong damaging winds in excess of 50 miles per hour. With that being said, severe threat, highly unlikely. And if any storms were to become severe, nothing like last Friday. You can put that thought out of your mind. We're up into the low 80s at the coastline today under mostly sunny skies. Of course, clouds building in after sunset for inland locations, mid to upper 80s across the area. It is going to be a beautiful day. The bulk of the rain coming tomorrow afternoon and really tapering off by the midnight hour. We have high pressure by Saturday and Sunday and then next week looking nice and dry as well as very warm. Our next rain chance coming in by next Saturday. All right, your lineup for today, of course, starting with our Hollywood Minute, rolling right into our video of the day, and of course, your celebrity birthdays. That's right. If you want to know your celebrity's birthday, if it's today, we're going to tell you all about it. That's Plus, right. of course, we've got App of the Week and today's guest. Hey, the uh, Spring Fling SOS started today. We'll be talking about that for one you thing. Want to dance? Not now. Not, not right now. Back. During the commercial break or right after our Hollywood Minute. Whatever it takes. Avengers Endgame broke a record on its first day of release. The 22nd movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe opened in China Wednesday, where it set a new record for biggest opening day on estimated ticket sales of over $107 million. Endgame arrives in theaters in the U.S. today. And what about Tolkien? I want to write something. The family of J.R.R. Tolkien has written something, a statement against an upcoming biopic. The Hollywood Reporter says the family and estate of the author released a statement saying they did not approve of, authorize, or participate in the making of the film. Tolkien, starring Nicholas Holt, journeys into theaters May 10th. Who 
is he? Here's a sneak peek at Will Smith and Will Smith in Gemini Man. Ang Lee directed the action thriller about an assassin who goes up against a younger version of himself. The flick hits theaters October 11th. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. All right, let's check out our video of the day now. Just southeast of Boys, Indiana, Idaho, uh, you can rent a six-ton potato on air, BNB. It has one bed, one bath, AC, heating, and indoor fireplace. Steel, plaster, and concrete were used to create this unique vacation. How about that? Before being converted to a hotel, it had been traveling across the country to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Idaho Potato Commission. The Potato Hotel officially opens for booking in late May at $200 per night. And you get a free potato when you stay there. Not too much of a fire. Yeah. You're going to have french fries. That's right. Or something, right? That's right. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, let's talk a little bit. I got to talk about my man Gage uh, Vassar. Of course, has won some more gold. He went to a karate tournament in North Carolina last week and won two gold and a bronze. And his buddy TJ Cooper also won two gold and a bronze. Congratulations, guys. A great job there. Maybe we can get him back in here to teach you a few things again. Yeah, I've learned that. Remember when he punched in the yeah, stomach? Yeah, how can I yeah, forget? That was awesome. I remember. <laughs> right. Talk about today. It is Thursday, April the 25th, and it is Teach Your Kids to Save Day. And it's National Crayola Day. All right. All right, starting off 1940, Al Pacino's got a birthday. He's 79 years old. Academy Award for Scent of a Woman. Of course, there's Dog Day Afternoon, Heat, uh, Scarface, and his quote, Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> he was a troublemaker in school. Oh, I can see that. All right, 1969, Renee, Renee Zellweger. She is 50 years old. Movies, Jerry Maguire, Chicago, Cinderella Man, Nurse Betty, and in high school, she was a cheerleader. 1977, Matthew West, 42 years old, a Christian musician, song, uh, let's see, writer, and uh, his songs like You Are Everything, The Motions, and Forgiveness. And he was in a film in 2011, The Heart of Christmas. All right, 1962, today in history, the spacecraft, the Ranger, it crashed on the moon, and guess what? It's still it's there. It's still there. <laughs> 1974, Steely Dan's Ricky Don't Lose That Number was released. All right. All right, know it all departments, you ready? This is a good one. Okay. Lake Superior State University in Michigan offers a unicorn hunting license. No what? joke. You can get a hunting license to hunt unicorns. Unsurprisingly, the chief herald of the unicorn hunters was once quoted saying, the pursuit of the unicorn is a lonely quest. So I don't reckon anybody's ever applied for a license. There's some odd things in this odd world. Odd things you can find anything you want on the internet. And of course, it's true. Of course. Of course. That's it from the know-it-all department today. We'll be right back. Are your kids sexting online? Here's how to find out after our advertiser. Sexting, bullying, and chatting with strangers is a serious online problem. Safer Kids app helps keep parents in the know about who and what your children are texting. Parents can see their child's entire text history directly from the parent's phone, including any images. You can also see when and what websites and chat rooms they visit. This gives parents insight to any potential problems. Parents can also set phone and use schedules, disable app use, and block inappropriate websites on their child's phone. You can set stricter rules for younger kids and provide more privileges as the kids get older. Keeping up with kids and outside predators can be a challenge. Safer Kids is a great way to start. I'm Francie Black. For more great apps, visit TechTangoToday.com. All right, it's time to play ball. The Myrtle Beach Pelicans are here. They're going to be talking about, let's see, Derby Night and also Military Appreciation Day. That's that, coming up. That's right. And guess what? Tonight, there's a game. There is a game tonight. There is a game. Kristen, lots of stuff going on with Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Let's talk about first the game tonight. How's the season going? Going well. Um, guys got a big win last night, so that's exciting. Uh, and then tonight we'll, we'll wrap up the week, and then we'll, we'll come back on Monday. And um, I think it's a seven-game home stretch next week. But Friday and Saturday are, are the big days with, uh, with Derby Eve on Friday and then Military Appreciation Night on Saturday. Derby Eve. Now, Cecil looks like he is dressed, <laughs> for, the I'm ready for, the dressed for the Derby already. I just need a hat and we can go. <clears throat> Tell us about Derby Night at Pelicans. Pretty, so it's, pretty it's, cool. The horses can be on the. 
There's yeah, a race. Is, as far as we know, this it's never been done before. There's actually going to be an in-game on-field horse race. In the middle of the game, we're going to open up the gates, and they're going to race real horses. Look. Oh, oh wow, absolutely. look at there. That actually, um, the, the jockey there is uh, is Rich. He is one of our game day employees. He's a he's a former jockey. He's helped set all really? of this up. So oh. he's been coordinating all of this. He will be racing. They're going to race um, along the, the outfield wall in the middle of the game. I that didn't is think pretty they cool. would be on the field. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were on the field, but just in the outfield. Way out, yeah. In the outfield, yeah, in the yeah. Outfield. So it'll be like you're right there at the Kentucky Derby of the <laughs> South, right? That's cool. So everybody's encouraged to dress up for Derby Day on Absolutely. Friday. Absolutely. Seersucker suits, the, the big hats, the fun dresses. So we've all been kind of, our entire staff has been planning, planning our attire. They're tired. That's yes. right. Fantastic. Then, of course, Saturday you go into. Saturday is Military Appreciation Night. We've been doing this. I think this is our, our sixth annual Military Appreciation Night. Um, we've got a great card set of, of local veterans um, and I think even a couple of active military personnel um, that we honor on there. Those cards will be given away at the gate. All this is um, in partnership with Embrace Hospice. They do great work. Um, and you can see there some of the, the footage of, of nights past. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's a great night to come out and, and honor our, our local veterans and say thank you to, to all the folks who serve this great country. Those who have served yeah. who want to get tickets, is there a, is there a special? Yeah, we always actually have a, a military um, discount. discount available. Right. Um, but yeah, that night is, is special, so just contact the folks at the box office. And like I said, um, <coughs> we honor our, our military folks every single night, but this is the night that we really go big. Cool. All right, so. who, who do you play tonight? Tonight we play the Carolina Mudcats. Oh, okay. That was good. You pulled that. Pulled that. I out. did. You always <laughs> caught. You I was like, he put, you put her on the spot. <laughs> he did. It's okay. They're a Milwaukee Brewers affiliate. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. Should be a great right, game. Well, game uh, starts at what time? Tonight is seven o five. Seven o five. And then Derby is seven o'clock, and yep. Military is six o'clock. Okay. Wow. Awesome. All right. Big night. That's Absolutely. Right. Thanks, thanks for being, for being with being us. Here. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You know. you know that the weather is getting warm at the beach when you have the spring safari that comes in. The SOS the Society of Stranders. I mean, what a dance party, right? That's right. And it oh, kicks yeah. off today. 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 That's Everybody's right. Everybody's going to be there for a party. Now, this is where a lot of older people get together. Younger people, too, of course. Sure, absolutely. Doing the shag and talking. Mm -hmm. and, and Paul Craver's with us right now. Mm -hmm. Paul, what all is happening this weekend in North Myrtle Oh, Beach? I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's just monster parties <laughs> ev everywhere. SOS, you know, as you know, started in 1980 by Gene uh, Swink Laughter. And he held it till 1989. And then uh, the shag clubs. Uh, Carolina Shack Clubs bought it out, and they own, they own the rights. But, you know, in every club there, you're talking about Fat Harrells, you're talking about yeah. Ducks, you're talking about the Galleon, you know, just all the clubs. We have monster crowds, and we start DJing and start bands at 12 noon, you know, on the days. Now, not bands every day, so DJs a lot. But uh, tonight, we got a hot band called Painted Man. <laughs> you oh, you yeah. need to see that yeah. band. And I'll, I'll be there with them. But uh, DJs for the weekend, then Sunday through Wednesday, we're going to have bands, live bands from like 1, one till 5. And uh, then the rest is just wall to wall, older people shagging. And I'll tell you, yeah, if you see, see some Lee, of these pictures, yeah, my boy right you, there. you'll see some people that you recognize. I know but it. That's an old picture of me when I was younger and uh, first <laughs> met uh, my, my first love in life, my, my wife. But... Uh, yeah, it's it's just a blast. It make the reason why the adults keep coming back. We were a lot of us were exposed to it back in the '60s, early yeah. '60s, yeah. and had so much fun. And so they want to come back every year. Now SOS goes on three times a year now. Right. April, September, and we have midwinters in January. But that's only just a few days. Yeah, hang out a little but, bit that but day. But it's party, man. And uh, they did a study over the coast of Carolina yeah. of the year 2007, the SOS crowds brings in over $10 million to the economy here. Goodness. I can That's believe strong. it. I can believe it, too. they got to come yeah. stay, they go That's party, strong. they go drink and have oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And what's so great about it, you get to renew and you get new friends, but you get to see all your yeah. old friends that's been around oh, for a long yeah. time. Oh, yeah. And, and it's great. You know, when you get around that, around the music, around the dance and everything, it, it's music and good times are all about memory. Uh, yeah. Memories, you know, yeah. and the music puts you in in that spot. And you're never too old for the music. You no, know what man, I'm talking about. No, uh, come on, let's shag with us. <laughs> Here, jump up. I'll, I'll let you guys take it away. <laughs> well, that's cool. So all the action, everything gets underway oh, up there yeah. today, and it runs oh, for oh, two, yeah. uh, 
two, two weeks. Is it two weeks? Yeah. No. Uh, actually, ten days, it'll go it through. Yeah. It's supposed to go through uh, next Saturday, Saturday, right? A week from uh, right. this Saturday. Yeah. And uh, but we close it out on Sundays with a band in the afternoons. We call it like the Boohoo Day. You know, it's over. <laughs> I'm crying. It's over. I'm going home. <laughs> and this but, is definitely this, this one's a big event too because you know people, especially people coming in town. It's been yeah. winter. Now they're excited. Oh, it's no, beautiful. No. It's oh, yeah. warm out. Everybody wants to come to the beach. Cause spring yeah. safari, big event. Oh, oh, it is. And uh, let me go one step further. SOS is mostly the older people. Yeah. But I'm telling you what Ducks is all about. We've turned it over outside of SOS party club, all ages down into the 20s because we got hot party music cool. and uh, we still do SOS shag early but at, after about 10 30 all the young ones come in the old ones go home it's time four. to go home oh, yeah. Going yeah. Home. yeah and hey so you it's gotta... <laughs> so it's an event for everybody oh yeah and uh that's when the money comes in when the kids that's get right there. they spend so, the money yeah but well, SOS is a great time. thing I'm well you me. check it out if you're in the North Myrtle Beach area this is where it's all happening that's and right. it started up today and running through next Saturday, so you get down and have a little beach music and rock. Come on down, That's come on right. down. Oh, say thank you, my man. Say hello to me, and, uh, <laughs> and I got a hug her. Uh oh, there he goes. He goes. Uh -oh. Microphone. There thank you. you. Did you <laughs> he didn't hug me. You can oh, take your I'm, seat. I'm, I'm there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Thanks, be back. Paul. Uh, my right, pleasure. We'll be right back. <laughs> all right, coming up, we got something happening. Music all comes together for this big event and we're going to tell you more about it. In fact, we got somebody here that sings also. That's right. The Carolina Master Chorales. Talk with Tim. Tell us, first of all, what is going on? The final concerts of the season. Sure. It's our last concert of the season and we're finishing up the Bernstein 100th anniversary year. And so we're doing two one act uh, operettas. They're just sort of glorified musicals. Um, if you like West Side Story, you'll love the music in, yeah. in these yeah. two pieces. And uh, the, the uh, pieces are Trouble in Tahiti and Candide, two one act operas. Uh, one's about 40 minutes and the other about an hour. And uh, we've got uh, 17 instrumentalists. We've got soloists from around the country and the, and the Carolina Master Chorale. Fantastic show this, this weekend. Awesome, fantastic. Joseph, talk about your involvement. Are you in the chorale? Or what is your involvement? So I'm actually from Pittsburgh, PA, but yeah. Tim gave me a call this week and asked me to come down to sing Sam in Trouble in Tahiti, um, and I'm just really happy to be here. Very cool. All right, so, you, so you're here just visiting. So that's just one of the treats you're going to get to Right. See. We, we actually had another fellow uh, lined up to sing, and uh, he had a medical emergency, and so we called around, and, and Joseph was really highly recommended by some friends. Awesome. Good news for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, All right, uh, now what are some of the tunes you're going to be doing? Joseph. Uh, well, from Trouble in Tahiti, we'll be uh, we'll be doing that opera. So that's got uh, some good songs like There's a Law and um, some really fantastic duets between me and the uh, the mezzo soprano singing Dinah in that show. Cool. How long you been doing this? Um, I've been singing for about uh, eight years now. Eight years. Okay. Yeah. Well, you look mighty young. That's when I had to uh, ask that. I, I didn't yeah. know how so, long yeah, you been started doing. when he was five. Yeah, <laughs> started when he was five. I'm kidding. I'm well, kidding. Yeah. Um, so, so being able to, if I could talk to him for just course, a second please, about yeah. being able to travel around and sing, is that a dream of yours? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, how cool. Yeah, I, I love, I mean, I, I actually, this is not my first time in Myrtle Beach, and um, the opportunity to come back is such a pleasure. Um, but uh, getting to go places and do what I love is a... Uh, Kind of like vacation and work at the same time. Awesome, fantastic. What's up next for the Carolina Master Chorale? Well, we're, we're going to uh, do a uh, performance with the American Guild of Organists. They have a regional convention, about a 10-state convention in June, and uh, they, they we'll be performing in the new First Presbyterian Church, the be beautiful building, June 11th. And then we uh, kick off our next season in September, some great concerts for the Long Bay Symphony and, you know, our Typical all right, now who yes. can offerings. come and when does all this happen? We'd love right. to have everybody. We've got seats available, both performances at Ocean View Baptist Church at seat 600, so we've got some availability still. Uh, it's Saturday evening at 7.30, Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. You can access our website, carolinamasterchorale.com. That's C-H-O-R-A-L-E for chorale. Okay. Or so call our office. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah. on the page yeah, right it's now. Right there. You can call our that. office at 444-5774 or buy tickets at the door. We've got uh, student discounts. We've got senior discounts and a few uh, okay. good seats available for both shows. Fantastic. Well, I hope thanks. you guys have a wonderful turnout and enjoy Myrtle Beach Thank for you. a little yeah. while. All Thank right. you both for being here. Thank you. All right, more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
And thanks so much for joining us today. Tomorrow we got another great show. It's a Friday. We've got a fun show lined up, a lot of neat stuff. Tell a friend about the show, one person every day, and we'll get more viewers all the time. Absolutely. And if you missed the show or you want to just see some fun shows from before, you can check out WPDE.com. Click on Spotlight, scroll down to Carolina and Company Live, and you can see all the antics from yeah, from every, the every shows. Thing. That's yeah. right. If you want to be on our show, give us a call. Send us an email, nonprofit, fundraiser, or even a business. We can help you promote it. And I promise you'll have a good time I promise coming you in will. studio. We have a great time here. All right, everybody, get ready for the weekend. It starts in the morning at 7 a.m. I start my weekend. I you just do? want you to know that. Yeah, yeah. Aww. That's what I'm talking about. Have a great day. Have a great day, everybody. Later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE, ABC 15, WWMB, CW 21, or its employees.